Hello and welcome to the MSAG Online UK CAT course. In this video, we will cover the easiest way to tackle probability questions on the decision-making subtest of the UK CAT. Our goal is to express every proportion or probability in the affirmative and then simplify. This is important as the questions often try and trick you by stating things in a negative way by saying what things are not rather than saying what they are. This magical method I am about to show you will allow you to confidently draw conclusions from the text by swapping negative statements for positive ones. Our objectives over the next six minutes or so are to define what it means to express fractions and percentages in the affirmative and show you how to simplify fractions. Let us start, as always, with an example. Question 1. Ash has a box of 30 balls in it. He is told that 18 of the balls are blue and that the rest are black. He also knows that 3 of the blue balls are striped, but also that 10 of the black balls are not striped. Ash reaches into the box to grab a ball at random. Is the ball he grabs more likely to be striped if it is blue? So here are your answer options. Yes, there are more blue striped balls than black striped balls. Yes, as the chances of picking a blue are higher. No, he is more likely to get a striped ball if it is black. No, the chance of getting a striped ball is the same whether the ball he picks is blue or black. This is a classic probability question on the decision-making subtest. I want you to be 100% confident in answering it correctly. First, everything must be in the affirmative. That means we want to know what proportion is something, not what proportion is not something. I would start by thinking of this as a hierarchical classification with the category being at the top of your pyramid, i.e. 30 balls. Then colour, i.e. whether the ball is blue or black, followed by the pattern, i.e. whether it is stripes or not stripes. It allows you to gather your thoughts in a logical fashion. Also, the key word in this question is striped, as we're being asked if Ash is more likely to pick up a blue striped ball compared to a black striped ball. OK, let's get started. There are 30 balls in total. These can be separated by colour, blue or black. We are told that 18 balls are blue, so it can be concluded by doing 13 minus 18 in your head that 12 balls are black. Well done. Now to move on to pattern. We are told that three of the blue balls are striped. OK, great. So we know that three out of 18 blue balls are striped. Last but not least, we know that there are 12 black coloured balls in total. 10, we are told, are not striped. It can be deducted from doing 12 minus 10 that two black balls are striped. Great. So now we know that two out of the 12 black balls are striped. Now to look at the question. It asks us, is the ball he grabs more likely to be striped if it is blue? Right, we have our two fractions from our previous working out. 3 out of 18 blue balls are striped, and 2 out of 12 black balls are also striped. To simplify, we must divide both parts of each fraction by any number they have in common. First, we know 3 out of 18 blue balls are striped. 3 out of 18 both have the number 3 as a common factor. Therefore, dividing by 3 will give us 1 out of 6 blue balls are striped. Perfect. We know 2 out of 12 black balls are striped. 2 and 12, both of the number 2 as a common factor. Dividing by 2 gives us 1 out of 6 black balls are striped. Awesome. This means that Ash is not more likely to get a striped ball if it is blue. The answer is therefore no. The chance of getting a striped ball is the same whether the ball he picks is blue or black, since the probability of Ash picking a blue striped ball or a black striped ball for both is 1 in 6. The fractions are equal. 
Converting into affirmative and simplifying is by far the quickest way of resolving these probability questions. 